We can compare that here with the flaring nostril of the next style of donkey that superseded the thin nostril donkey. This is an extra fine donkey. It came with a felt blanket decorated with gold rickrack. Notice the thin muzzle and mouth. This is the painted eyed donkey, which was made later on. Notice how thick the muzzle and mouth of this donkey are. The first of the elephants had a rather large, blocky body. It was glass-eyed. And then came an elephant with a much more naturalistic shape, also glass-eyed. The horns or uh, tusks were of leather, and the tip on the trunk was made of rubber. This was superseded by a painted-eyed donkey, and here you see one complete with a blanket. All the shonid animals were made to stand on two legs, in this case, or on one leg, as in this case, making them a very delightful balancing toy. They were essentially balancing toys. No circus could be complete without the Lipizzan stallion, and this is the Schoenhut version known as the wonderful educated horse. In the catalog it was referred to as the white horse although it was dappled in its decoration. Here we see another version of the horse with a wider nostril than the first one and having a broader cheek. All the white horses came equipped with this little platform saddle. Which functioned very well, as in this case, for balancing performers on their backs. Later the white horse was changed, and when the glass eyes were eliminated and the painted eye version came into existence, the white horse had a black mane and a black tail. The early poodle with glass eyes had a cloth mane. Then the poodle was made with a carved mane, glass eyes. This is a very rare poodle. There was another carved poodle with painted eyes, and then this more common variety, painted eyed poodle. This is an early hobo similar to the clown, except that he has different clothing and sports a mustache and black shoes. This is a later hobo, made with a molded head, one piece. And this is another late hobo. Hobos have a rather unique appearance to them. This is the glass-eyed goat. And his successor, the painted-eyed goat. The early ringmaster was very similar in facial features to the clown, differing only in having a goatee and a mustache, and of course, his costume. The famous bisque ringmaster with black hair. Both of these had straight arms. And then came the molded head ringmaster who was given uh, elbows that bent. 
and later uh, they were given a white top hat. The horse proved so popular that a brown version was made and he came equipped with a saddle and had a white tail and mane. Here's one that's lost his saddle. And then the painted eyed version, like the white horse, was given a black mane and black tail. No circus could be complete without Mr. Bojangles. Here we see the early version of the Negro Dude. Black shoes, checkered pants, and a gaudy shirt. Here's a later version of the Negro Dude. We see here, frozen in a toy, the white man's attitude towards the black man, a stereotype of the buffoon and the minstrel forever in a toy. Perhaps the most sought after of lady circus riders is the Biscuit lady rider. Here's one with blonde hair. And they came as brunettes. They were decorated with gold rickrack. Later, the molded, wooden-headed lady riders were made in several styles. This the long neck style, and this the short neck style. You will notice that both of them, as well as the bisque lady riders, have uh, top knots or buns on the top of their head. This was later eliminated in this lady rider and the gold rickrack gave way to a cloth rickrack of cotton. This is the la latest of the lady riders. No animal could introduce the Schoenhut menagerie better than the lion. And here we see a very rare glass-eyed lion with a carved head and leather ears. Very few of these were made. They were soon replaced by a carved glass-eyed lion with the ears carved. But this was a lot of hand work and was eventually replaced by the painted-eyed lion with a, a molded head. Also in the menagerie was the glass-eyed tiger. This was later replaced by the painted-eyed tiger. Very different looking creature. Also the glass-eyed leopard. And rather strangely grotesque, the painted-eyed leopard. Looking almost like a bulldog. Then the Arabian or one-humped camel. Here a glass-eyed open mouth version. Also came in a closed mouth version. And the painted-eyed Arabian camel. The two of them together. Notice the glass eyed has a slightly smaller body. Not quite as long. And then that uh, natural freak and the delight of all circus and zoo goers, the glass eyed giraffe with open mouth, glass eyed giraffe with closed mouth. and the painted-eyed giraffe. There was also a giraffe with a molded head. And here we have the zebra with glass eyes and a neck joint, cloth mane, and here the painted zebra with a molded head. All the shunted animals could stand on one foot and do balancing tricks like this. Of course the lions needed someone to keep them in control. And so we have here uh, the Biscuit Lion Tamer. Much rarer than some of the other bisques. Quite sought after by collectors. 
And here, the molded, wooden-headed ringmaster. Originally called the Turk Head Lion Tamer. The early hippopotamus is a strange looking creature, having a very large full ball jointed neck and a large blocky body identical to that of the early elephant. An instance of uh, manufacturing efficiency. This was later replaced by a more naturalistic glass-eyed hippopotamus. And then later replaced by the painted-eyed hippopotamus. The only reptile represented in the Humpty Dumpty Circus is the alligator. Here we see a painted-eyed alligator with thin lips and with very thick, heavy lips. The brown bear, here in a glass-eyed version, is a not too common animal of the Schoenhut Circus, and here's the painted eye. <laughs> the buffalo, glass-eyed buffalo with a cloth mane and rather long leather horns. And the painted eyed buffalo, much more naturalistic. The ostrich, glass-eyed and open mouth, with funny-looking knobbly legs. The later painted-eyed ostrich, more naturalistic in body. The monkey, also part of the Schoenhut menagerie, with a very grotesque face on the early style. The later monkey, also with an interesting expression. The grotesqueness of the Schoenhut Circus piece is one of their principal attractions. No circus could be complete without the jugglers, the acrobats. And here we see a two-part headed Chinaman with his parasol standing on a tight rope. All the acrobats had their shoes notched to fit the tight rope. Here's one with a spinning bowl, balancing. This is the one-piece head Chinaman. And of course, the lady acrobat in her bisque head form with beautiful tights a little rough around her neck, made to balance on the tightrope. And her male counterpart, the gent acrobat, with his 100-pound weights. All these bisqueted acrobats are much sought after by collectors. And the gents come with both brown, as in this case, black hair. paraphernalia that went with the acrobats, in fact with the circus, helped to give it some of its charm. Here we see some Humpty Dumpty extra dry being balanced by a molded headed lady acrobat on the tightrope. And here's a very old gent acrobat made before the bisque heads came out with a two-part head. The circus proved so successful that more animals were added later. This is an example of the kangaroo. These are all very sought after pieces. The polar bear is one of the rarest. And this is the seal, or as he was known in the Shunhut catalog, the sea lion. These all came in glass-eyed versions as well. 
and this the Bactrian or two hump camel and here we see the pig the pig came out with uh, Max of Max and Moritz fame a popular German story here's an early Max this is a painted eyed pig And this is a later Max with molded head. Very mischievous expression on the face. And here, a later painted eyed pig with a rather large snout. That's what makes them different from the early ones. Shun had also came out with a farm set. And here we see the farmer. This is a farmer with a two part head. And this is the later farmer with a wonderful expression on his face. Mr. McGregor himself. And his wheelbarrow. And this is the milkmaid, sometimes referred to by doll collectors as the farmer's wife. But shown in the catalog as the milkmaid. And here's her cow and milk stool. This is a glass-eyed cow. Has a little bell around its neck. And here's the painted-eyed cow. Big sad eye. The farm set also had a burrow. This is a glass-eyed burrow. These are kind of bluish in color. Also boasted a bulldog, very popular with collectors. This is the black and white bulldog with glass eyes. Here's the painted eyed bulldog. And it was also made in a brindle or kind of a grayish brown color. Farm set also had a goose. This is the hollow cheek goose with a pointed beak, and this the round cheek goose. Also in the farm set was a rabbit and uh, his predator, the wolf, a very rare piece, the wolf, and the cat. Rabbit, cat, and wolf all very much sought after. This is Mary of Mary Had a Little Lamb. And Mary came complete with her school desk. This is a short neck Mary who's lost her hat. And here's the lamb, known, shown in the catalog as a sheep, complete with a little red ribbon and a bell. This is the glass eyed lamb and his feeding trough. This is the painted eyed lamb or sheep. Perhaps one of the most fabulous of the Schoenhut Circus pieces was this uh, gold embossed chariot pulled by a painted eyed burrow and carrying a clown. It was part of the fancy parade wagon set. Included on one of the fancy parade wagons, a tableau wagon, were three freaks, one of which was this grotesque jockey. And as you can see by his expression, he is indeed a grotesque person. One of the more unique of the Schoenhut Circus type of toy was this uh, replica of Teddy Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt uh, stirred the imagination in the uh, late 1900, uh, about 1910. And Schoenhut came out with this uh, 
Teddy's Adventures in Africa set. This is the photographer that previous was a doctor. And of course, there was the African native, a drummer, and another African native. Note that the sash around his waist has the clown costume design printed on it. This uh, Teddy Roosevelt set introduced some new animals, and we see here two versions of the glass-eyed deer, sometimes thought of as a reindeer because of its horns. And this is a glass-eyed rhinoceros. And here we have the rare glass-eyed zebu. All of these pieces to the Teddy Roosevelt set are highly sought after by collectors, and most of them are quite rare. Here's the famous gorilla. And the very hard to find glass-eyed gazelle. Very interesting set of toys. In about 1923 or 24, Shenhut came out with a reduced size circus. Here we see a large clown and uh, positioned next to the small clown to give you a sense of their scale. These Small clowns, like their large counterparts, came in various sizes over the years. On the left, you see the clown with a cloth hat, leather ears. In the middle, with a wood cone and leather ears. And on the right-hand side, a clown with a molded head. Take a little closer look here so you can See the difference? Cloth, wood head, molded head. The reduced size circus also had a small elephant. Many collectors use them as baby elephants. The small donkey. The small brown horse. the small ringmaster, like the large circus pieces, the small things came in se several versions. And here we see a second version of lion. The small tiger and a variation of it. Rather handsome, this one. And the reduced size leopard. The reduced size white horse, complete with the platform, in order to hold the little lady circus riders with their wavy bobbed hair. the little poodle, the zebra, the small buffalo, the goat. Many of these small animals are very difficult to find. The small black dude with his strange looking shiny hat pig with a completely molded head,
the rhinoceros. The hippopotamus. And a small hobo. Not all of the large pieces were duplicated in the small sets. In 1927, a very rare set came out, a miniature size. It only lasted for three years. And here we see a catalog picture of the box cover. The contents of the box. And here's an actual example of the miniature Schoenhut Circus set. The elephant. And for comparison, the reduced size and the regular size elephant. Roly Dolly. This patent drawing shows a goat. Here's an actual example of one of these Roly Dollies with the circus animal on it. In this case, the glass-eyed burrow. <laughs> 